Hi everyone, welcome to this particular episode. This episode is a one that gladdens my heart so much because um, this dress gives, um, it gives class. Yeah, it gives class because it's coming, the drip alongside with this dress is coming from the bust region and it's going alongside with the trail. Um, it has a bit of um, bust shape. Um, the structure is a bit, it, it's a bit, it comes out, like it comes out, it feels 3D, but at the same time, it's going all the way to the back. There's like this, um, how do I call it? You know, when you want to tie something together, but it's not tied together towards the end of the back this this is the only look that has two two sketches on my table i i was very particular about this sketch um my sketch artist making sure that we have about two i mean looking at the back view looking at the front view um i'm going to show you the front view now and you are going to see the back view so for this particular look we made sure that whatsoever we are doing in front is connecting to the back um, we wanted it to be like, um, to have a feel of a two-in-one, but at the same time, still feel free to not feel like, oh, you have to like have an overscale attached to it, but it's still part of the dress, right? So for this particular look, all we did was work on the fabrics to be more detailed at the upper region. Um, the, the, the lower part just needed a bit of beading and then, um, we are good. But the, for the bust region, we just needed a bit of detailing that would like, um, work around the bust and then it should feel like it's growing on the particular that structure i spoke about earlier um for this look any kind of air can actually go with it i think any a slick bun an updo a an hollywood cut name any type of air just don't do ghana weaving guys <laughs> name any type of air it can go with it for this look i feel i still feel like you can choose to wear a bit of dramatic earrings if you wish but if you do not you can have um, a bit of pearls around your ear the earring just to keep it simple and make it look as elegant and classy you should look as a bride um for this look at the same time one thing i love about this look is the fact that the back is low um it's just it, it's coming from the tube area but it, 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 it accentuates the waist in such a way that the back is a bit low and it still gives this very sexy feel Hence, I said, well, that was why I said earlier that you can have Hollywood kind of air which will drop and cover the back if you want or you can also pack your hair if you wish. For this look, we, we decided to settle on a particular build that is extremely short but cute. Um, I wanted a situation whereby we have like tassels around the veil. Yes, the fabric might not be giving so much tassel feel but it just add a bit of drama to what we intend to like to make this dress look um for this for this particular look we also said that um the veil should have this intricate detailing it should have like a crisscross detailing around the front region and that was exactly what we did for this veil and trust me when i say you will love the veil you will love the dress you will love the tail the train that is like connected to the dress with it you will love it um any bride can wear these guys. Any bride, a bold bride, a, a, a confident bride, an elegant bride, any bride can actually wear this particular look. Um, this should be, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what look this one would belong to, but I'm, I'm very sure it will be somewhere in the middle so that by the time we're unveiling this particular dress, it's just going to look breathless. People will be like, we were, we were not expecting this. So thank you so much. For this episode guys see you next time bye